Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. I love it. I really do. <sighs> Cold showers. They just, they just do something to me. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another episode on the Tube of the U with me. Today we are, it's actually nighttime. Today we're gonna do a little mini vlog kind of style. I'm in Santa Clarita, California, Valencia more specifically. I'm actually here to help out my good buddy Austin Alexander with a kind of a shoot for a brand and kind of like an obstacle course type deal. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super excited. We got a whole team. We're kind of going up against another team, the competition aspect of it. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. But before we get into that, and I'm actually not gonna post any of that because I'm not allowed to, but I just wanna kind of run you through like what I bring with me, the essentials on a road trip to like a hotel. Like this is a two hour road trip. So if it helps you, just like some essentials and then walk you through kind of like in-depth morning routine. I know I post a lot on Instagram, at Nick Walker Fitness if you're not already following, but it's very short form content, right? So I wanna bring you something a little bit long, more long form, get into a workout in the morning. It's currently 9.30 p.m., way past my bedtime. So I'm gonna kind of show you around the hotel room, show you what I brought. I'm a super weirdo, get really organized. Um, and then in the morning, I'll kind of walk you through everything in the routine and kind of go from there and do a little montage style workout, leave the workout for you in the description and have a lot of fun with it. If you can't tell, I'm trying to be a little quiet because there's people below me, beside me. I don't want to wake them up, but it's imperative that we get this video going. So before I show you around this handy dandy little hotel room, it's actually a handicapped room, which kind of cool there's more space if you are not already subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me please it helps me out more than you know give this video a like hit the bell icon if you're not subscribed already if you haven't hit the bell icon get my notifications as soon as the videos come out and then leave a comment tell me what you want to see more of I've got some pretty funny ideas I, I might as well tell you I've got an idea to do a video where I try to eat 40,000 calories in a day Keep track of the total freaking expenditure, as in money, on how much I've spent that day on fast food. It might be the last time I ever eat fast food in my life, but I'm gonna do that. We've got some ideas for more would you rather videos, which was pretty hilarious and very received. But leave some more ideas if you if, if you wanna see something, see something funny, I don't know. I love doing that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's, let's show you what, what's in the freaking hotel room. Hi. It's me. I'm in the hotel room. I don't know really. Let's get into this. So just a little, we'll zoom out a little for you if you can. Oh, that's as far as it goes. So got a cool little fridge area. You don't need to see what's in the hotel room. This is more about how much of a weirdo and how organized they get, especially when it comes to hotel rooms. So as soon as they get here, I unpack. And there's my toiletries. There's me again. Wow, it is really, really bright. Let's darken that up. <laughs> Okay, so shower, handicapped shower. I guess I kind of lucked out on that one, but let's go out here. All right, so if you can't tell, these are my shoes all lined up because I have to be super organized. These are my workout clothes for the morning. That's what I'm gonna be wearing in the competition. This is just setting my environment up for success. It says, hey Nick, you're awake. You gotta put those on. This is my little supplement area got all my supplements in here and then i've got my trail mix athletic greens take that every single freaking day it's the best powder ever just some protein bars and then the other essentials that i always bring and as you can see i've already eaten one have a banana had a second one let's get down into here the good stuff all right i don't know how bright this is going to be but we just got chicken brown rice and broccoli and then we've got ground turkey broccoli and brown rice. So the other third meal was another one of these. And basically, I know I'm gonna be very active the next two to three days, so I brought a lunch for every single day to make sure I've got some good carbs, good protein, little veggies in there. 
prepped. It's gonna save me money, keep me fueled. Essential, essential, essential to stay prepared. Then also we have a, I already drank one, a poppy. It's just kind of a healthy soda. It's really good for your gut. Really into the healthy microbiome. Then in here, the good stuff, more good stuff. There's an avocado, I'm refrigerating it because it's about to go bad. Boom, and then deer sticks because good fats, good protein. Sorry this quality is all jacked up, but that kind of got better. So these are my snacks along with the trail mix. And then of course I have, like I said, these snacks to save money. And just a little quick pro tip, if you ever have a Whole Foods next to the hotel that you're at, that's another, I know it gets like, they say it's whole bank account, but that's one of the best ways to find healthy options, right? Like they have pre-made salmon fillets that you can get for like 10 bucks. They have hard boiled eggs that are really good, pasture raised. Just there's so many options there and you can find these things at other grocery stores, but again, traveling and trying to commit to this healthy fitness lifestyle is very, you gotta, you gotta work all these pieces in and factor these types of things in. So. I'm fortunate there is a Whole Foods close. I don't know if I'm gonna make it this trip, but I did pack enough to where I feel like I can save money and be prepared for my day and continue with a normal lifestyle. Like tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go get a day pass at LA Fitness because they have all the equipment necessary for my workouts. And quick tip on the day, day passes. Go in there, sign up for a free account, act like you're getting an account, go through the spiel and just say, hey, I'm in the fitness industry and I'm not getting an account, I just need a day pass. It might be 10 bucks, but 10 bucks for your workout, you're investing in your health. Great idea. Right, so anyways, back to this tour. So as you can tell, oh, what's that? Oh, that's my cooler bag that I brought all my stuff in. That's the bag that I got for the event tomorrow. Here I am hanging my shirts up because I'm very organized. As soon as I get here, this is what I do. I unpack everything, I go in, I put all my shorts, underwear, socks, yada yada, short or shirts, workout stuff. It was very organized and that's the way I like it. Then I set up my workstation. This is where I was all day today. If you saw my story, I was working like crazy on this here little friend. And then obviously I've got my notebook. Sorry, the coloring's all jacked up, but journal, boom. And then I'm reading these two books right now. Pretty stoked. This is done. Boink. And then I'll get my tripod because I was filming a reel after my run today. And then it'll be a little eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one and you are not it. So I think I'm sleeping in that bed tonight. And then we'll wake up in the morning, take you through a little morning routine, get the day going. All right, so before I get ready for bed, brush my teeth, wash my face, read, do a little meditation. And journal, I'm just gonna tell you what kinda, just give you a little brief rundown of what tomorrow morning will look like. I'll wake up around 5 a.m., I'll jump in a cold shower, I will listen to a motivational video on YouTube, and then I will journal and drink my coffee at the same time. Then I will go downstairs all refreshed, ready to win the day, right about 6 a.m., be walking out the door. My buddy Matt's gonna be with me to help me film. And then we're just gonna go get a workout in. And But I, I wanna take you through that morning with me because I think there's, there's power in morning routines and setting the tone for your day and setting the tone for, you know, these little disciplines and daily responsibilities to hold yourself accountable, right? And I talk about this stuff a lot on my podcast, but it's super important to me because it's, it's, it's holding yourself to a higher standard to the values that you hold close that make up your standards which really make up your identity. And without getting too deep on you, here late at night, deep in my thoughts, and alone in my hotel room, that's, I, I just wanted to put a little video together because the, the, the power of the morning and seeing, I guess, what my routine, if that helps somebody, then heck yeah, I'm happy. I love implementing these kind of habits into my life. And it's not, it wasn't a whole like, hey, I'm gonna do all these things at once the very first time I ever did it. It was more or less like, hey, I'm gonna try this one thing this week. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, this made me feel really good. And then stacking them on and then kind of adjusting the time until you kind of perfect it, right? And seeing what works for you. 30 minutes might be good for some people, but an hour works for me. And 
you know, I kind of call it the power hour where you focus on yourself to start the day rather than checking your phone, checking your emails and putting everybody else before yourself to start your day, right? Because if you can't be one with yourself and be happy as you and put everybody else before you, you're just starting your day off like saying other people matter more than you. And selfishly, you should be that way, right? Because you want to be the best you can be for others to improve those relationships, to improve yourself. And that's just kind of my outlook on life. All right, I'm going on a rabbit hole, but I'm going to go get ready for bed, turn the lights out, and I'll see you early in the morning. Good night. That was kind of creepy. All right, good night. Whew. Yep. 5.15, 5.13, whatever. Good morning. Good freaking morning. It's time to wake up. I always get really excited to wake up. I mean, not always, but like this morning, being in a new environment, definitely excited. Show you guys around. Don't mind the air conditioning unit turning on. Feeling pretty good. Had a good night's sleep. I'm a little discombobulated, if you can't tell. Ugh. First thing I do when I wake up, chug water. Usually have it in my other water bottle. It's dirty right now. Take about 20, well, I fill the whole thing, so I'm going to take about 20 swigs. Alright, so why chug water as soon as you wake up? Well, lots of different theories out there, but mainly your body is made of 60% water. So why not give it the majority source of what it's made up with? And furthermore, your brain is made up of about 70% water. So also, you are about the most creative, not about, you are the most creative within that first 20 to 30 minutes of waking up. So, drinking water, getting the brain going, feeding it what it needs, it only makes sense. To drink a bunch of water as soon as you wake up and kind of get everything start to flow in, get those liquids pumping. Next thing I would do is grab my phone and go to YouTube and throw on a motivational video, but I can't show you that or put it on here because of copyright things on YouTube. But what I do, it's usually like law of attraction coaching and this is the one for this morning. So I'm going to have a play in the background, but I'm not, I'm going to pause it for all my clips. I'm going to go into the bathroom and uh, I don't think I need to show you that. Boom. All right. Bathroom. Inside the bathroom. We just go straight to our hygiene routine, which in the morning only consists of brushing my teeth. And then I get in the cold shower, which I'm gonna do that right after I brush my teeth. And obviously, I don't think I need to get too crazy in detail of why hygiene is important, but just take care of yourself. If, you know, like hygiene is one of those things, not only do you feel great, and you boost self-confidence through feeling good, but also it's just a sign of self-respect, right? And the more that we can respect ourselves, the more we can, like I was talking about last night, build relationships and everything else. Like, And also, it, personal preference. What do you wanna smell like? What do you wanna feel like? What do you, just your presence, I guess, right? So, I'm brushing my teeth, jump in a cold shower, which is the, the most fun part of my morning that I actually don't look forward to, but I do look forward to. It's a weird, like, love-hate relationship. All right, so I also just wanna explain the whole motivational video, and throughout my morning, I, I'm trying to reflect and build and prepare for my day, and I'm always trying to think about like, what's my intention for today? As soon as I wake up, I'm thinking, what do I want my day to look like? And what do I want to keep and ground myself in? 
whether that's a thought, a feeling, a an awareness of presence. Um, and today, I'm, I'm already, I was just brushing my teeth and I heard it on the video and I, there's just certain things. You don't have to force it, it just kind of comes and your mind will get stuck on something and you're like, wow, how can I turn it into that, into an intention? And today, I just heard falling forward and the, the, whole, the whole idea of having a, a backup plan doesn't really make sense, right? Like, you're already committed in your mind to something not working out if you have a backup plan. Like, yes, it's, it's smart, but fall forward. Because the more you fall forward, that means you can fail and you can succeed as you fall forward, right? Like, if, if, if we're falling back, maybe we're not growing as much, right? So, that's gonna be my intention for today. I'll take you through my journal after I uh, jump in the cold shower. But before we jump in the cold shower, I'm also gonna get my coffee going because I need some coffee. Look at this handy dandy little thing. These things are always gonna trip me out. They're like tea bags with coffee, but I guess whatever does the trick, right? Uh, get that going and go jump in the shower. I thought about turning on the shower right there with that after that clip when I was walking. But then I realized that I'm not gonna turn the shower on before I get in. I always get in the shower first, turn it on cold, let it initially hit you because that initial buildup of like, oh my God, this is gonna be cold. That's part of this whole like hormonal adrenaline, get the epinephrine, all of the, the good stuff coming on. So about two to three minutes, if you're new to it, take it in cycles, go 30 seconds on and then like 30 seconds of hot water and then change it, right? I've built up to where I, I love it I genuinely do, I love it. The initial sucks, but so many benefits for a cold shower. Boost testosterone, it changes your state completely. Um, immune benefits, think about a fever. If you've had a fever, what does your body do? It heats up because it's trying to balance what's going on. So the more we put our body into the stress and the stimulus of maybe feeling like you have a cold, the more it's able to adapt, right? In short. Um, and then obviously the, the mood benefits it, and it just wakes you up, it really does. Like the easiest way to warm your body up is by taking a cold shower, as stupid as that sounds. Take a cold shower, your body works harder to work, to heat itself up. You ever gotten cold after a hot shower? It's doing the opposite. So taking a hot shower before bed is great. So I'm gonna jump in here, we're gonna go journal afterward. Actually, we're gonna get more, a little more hygiene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it, I really do. <sighs> Cold showers, they just, they just do something to me. So, now I'm gonna, actually you can tell it in my voice, I'm already like more awake. Got a little gel, wash my face in the shower. I'm gonna put a little gel in my hair. Jesus, let this really weird olive oil mix for my hair. Not that you care, but it's easy. Just got a haircut too. Nothing better than getting a haircut. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna get this done. I'm gonna put my deodorant on. And then we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna grab my coffee. I'm gonna get dressed. Normally this is when I would go on a walk this morning. I don't have time for a walk, which is okay because I'm kind of cramming it all in for before this challenge today, the event, and I'm gonna get this workout in. They told me I was crazy to do a workout before it, but it's gonna be fun. I love the, uh, that's part of the fun, the mental challenge of, hey, can you make it through a workout and a crazy obstacle course? Why, yes I can. Or at least we're gonna find out. Black coffee, so I'm gonna be fasting this morning. Coffee, I lost my train of thought. Yeah. Oh, that's all I was gonna say. Black coffee, it's great for a fast. It also has some crazy good benefits that I won't get into, but maybe that's a podcast topic. I'm gonna to get dressed, we're gonna go with the, let me flip this thing around. We're gonna go with the Gymshark tank here today and then black Converse and plain black Rhone shorts, R-H-O-N-E. 
All right, so before we get into the journal, I forgot. You gotta make a freaking bed. This is im freaking imperative because we're just doing things to prove to ourselves, like, hey, most people, you don't wanna make your bed. Make your bed. If there's anything you take from this video, make your bed. Just do something as soon as you wake up to, like, you're accomplishing something. You are proving that you can do something today. And you're building that self-confidence throughout the day already. So. Already this morning I've accomplished the cold shower. I'm making my bed, and then we're gonna keep going with our mental journey of setting this freaking day up for success. All right, now that my bed is made, it's time to sit down, go through my journal, set up the day, I'm kinda pumped to show you this. And I wanna talk really quick, oh. So the night before I also do on my productivity list, AKA my to-do list, I call it a productivity list so the connotation isn't as crazy. But I write down everything I need to do the next day because subconsciously when you go to sleep, if you kind of visualize that day, your brain will begin to work on in your sleep like, hey, I know I need to do this tomorrow. It will begin formulating that plan. And obviously we don't really know how it's doing it, but it's good to at least put that out there, right? And have a, a vision for the next day. All right, don't mind the shadow. This is my uh, mic. But, all right, so we've got intention for the day, which is gonna be, I'll, I'll show you after it's filled out. My sleep, I always track my sleep. I'll show you how I do that. My activity, this is kind of the plan for the day of what physical activity I'm gonna do. Just flip to a random page. Boom. Morning walk, arm workout, and football question mark. Maybe I'll do football that day. Um, let's go to a different one. Morning walk, full body workout, evening walk. Let's see if there's anything else crazy. Morning walk, full body workout, 5K run. All right, so I'll hit these three, then I'll do self-care. What's gonna be self-care today? I'm gonna to read at least 10 pages, meditate, and then I'm going to make sure that something else in there, maybe it's a hot tub, maybe it's some, some kind of recovery is in here. And then, this is for the later on in the night. What do you, today what I'm thankful for, I always write and verbalize three things I'm grateful, and one of those three things is gonna be something as simple as like, as normally I would do this after my morning walk, still listening to my motivational video. One of these things would be something like the wet grass on my feet, because I would go on a barefoot walk and ground myself with the earth, because I'm a weirdo and I love it. And yeah, so, or like the ocean breeze on my face, just something that's so, so subtle and little that can build that appreciation and get our brains looking for the positivity throughout the day. All right, here we are. So my intention for the day, fall forward, take the risk in every moment and know that all outcomes are good. They move you forward. So what does that mean? It means take the risk and know and commit that anything that you do today is going to progress you forward, right? Commit to that decision and something good will come out of it. Even if you fail, you learn something from it. All right, moving down to our sleep. I got five hours and 49 minutes of sleep. That's the time I went to bed and woke up. That's my recovery and that's my heart rate variability. I use Whoop to track this. So obviously you can see all the little things. It's not that much sleep, but my recovery was good, indicating that I'm ready to take on the day of strain, which like yesterday, let's go here. My strain was 18.5, really high because I did all these things. I took a nap yesterday, don't, don't talk about anyone. Moving forward, what's my activity for today? I'm gonna go do my full body deload workout. I've got some sad news about that one. And then my obstacle course after that, I'm gonna take an evening walk and then somewhere in between there, I'm gonna do a cardio bike flush because I know I'm doing so much today. Hop on the bike for very low impact. Just flush out all the lactic acid. Self-care, I'm gonna med meditate for 10 minutes, read 10 plus pages, hot tub, and get my 10,000 steps. So I'm setting up and visualizing again, continuing this process throughout the morning. And then what I'm thankful for today, just three things that came to my mind, cold showers, because I was feeling great, 
and then natural body pro bodily processes because I'm not in control of that and it's really cool how our body works. The next one is just a new day. I'm very grateful to be alive today. And then the third one with my platform, I was just kind of reflecting on what I'm doing right now and having YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, whatever, and having the support of you guys. And I was just feeling very grateful for that. So I'll do three things. And then tonight, when I go before I go to bed, I'll do that same thing. So here we are, kind of got the morning journal done. And now it is time for the sad news. So beginning of this video, I told you that we were gonna kind of tag along in a full body workout. And unfortunately, that is not gonna happen. I am not going to have my friend anymore there to help me film, and I gotta be pretty quick in the gym, but obviously I have my workout Wednesdays, go follow along with that. This workout that I have, I'm doing today is actually on my app, nickwalkerfitness.app. So it was just gonna be kinda cool to montage it up, and he's actually a videographer, so I was kinda looking forward to it, but it's all good, he's a great kid. He's got a lot of work and stuff on his plate. Anyways, I don't know why we're making this big deal. I'm just not gonna be able to have the workout in and I've already talked for like 7,000 minutes on this video and I'm hoping that you enjoyed it. So in short, that is pretty much all I have for you this morning. Early morning, it's already 6 a.m. and just kind of walking you through how I go about my morning, right? So wake up, first thing I do, drink water go to the bathroom, get the coffee brewing, put on the motivational video, hygiene, and then jump in that cold shower first thing within the first like five to 10 minutes, come out, get my bed made, make sure I am, have my clothes set out from the last night, sorry, I just got distracted by the files in my Dropbox. Um, and then get dressed, get in here, sit down with myself, listen to the, vi the video, and really just kind of take hold of my day with my journal. Sometimes I'll work in, if I have a, like a, kind of a longer morning on weekends especially, I'll read then, really set my day up, I'll meditate then. I love the app Head, Headspace, their guided meditations are awesome. They have like classes, that's all I've been using ever. And yeah, just the morning is the time for you and to set up your day. And I can't harp on that enough. I, I, I truly am a morning person, I love it. So I hope that was beneficial for you, I, I do. I hope the seeing every little detail. Normally I would go on that walk before I do my journal after I get out of the cold shower. Or actually no, that's not right. I go on the walk before I get in the cold shower. No, that's not right again. I shower and then I walk, yes. Cold shower first, boom, bingo. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. All right, so with that said, I hope you took something away this morning. I am going to, actually I'm gonna put these videos in the Dropbox right now, let them upload while I go to the gym, get a workout in, and have an awesome freaking day for myself, but also for you. I hope you have an awesome freaking day. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, comment what you wanna see more of, maybe something that I did this morning that you don't realize maybe helps or like something that you might implement into your routine, right? Or something that you do in your routine that I might be able to implement in mine because I like hearing about it. I'm, I also have this weird hobby I'm, I meant to share with you. Cold water in hotels are the best. And my hobby is I love smelling and using new hob, like, uh, I love smelling and using new shampoos, conditioners, and body wash in hotels. I just love it. I don't know why. They all kind of make you feel a little different too. Anyways, so again, if you like another one of my hobbies is like, what can I test on my body to make it feel different, feel good, implement something new into my routine. I'm just kind of use myself as a guinea pig and test. So yeah. All right. So like, subscribe, comment, turn on the post notifications. I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun for me because I love this stuff. But all right, have an awesome freaking day and don't forget to smile.